Well, welcome back. Council Bluffs police arrest a man they believe is behind a string of recent robberies across the metro. Today, we caught up with a man who was inside a store police say the suspect targeted just last night. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Emily Zink is live this afternoon with that story. Emily. Well, Dan, today Jeff Campbell tells me that he heard about the man police were calling a serial robber because his sister-in-law manages a gas station that was hit, but he never thought he would come face to face with the man. I think it all lasted about 10 seconds, and the gentleman was out the door, and you, all of a sudden you hear sirens. Jeff Campbell was developing some film at Walgreens in Council Bluffs late last night when the unthinkable happened. Why is it so quiet in here? And I realized what was going on. Campbell realized that Walgreens was being held up, but luckily for the dozen patrons inside the store, Council Bluffs PD was already hot on the robber's trail. He saw somebody coming into the store that was dressed all in black, so obviously that raised some suspicions. Um, the guy went in the store and he really couldn't see what was going on in there at the time. And then he seen a patron through the window that had his hands up. Sergeant Chad Myers explains that Council Bluffs PD had an action plan in place to try to stop a serial robber who they believe is Matthew Koval from striking again. Beginning Wednesday night, they were staging detectives at places across town they thought were susceptible. Well, last night we only had people at two. Uh, we were going to expand that starting tonight, so fortunately we don't have to do that now. Sergeant Meyer says that they're ecstatic to put Koval behind bars because they think he's the one who has terrorized the Metro for weeks. As for Campbell and the dozens of others who have been in his situation, he's just happy it didn't turn violent. And as I left the store after talking to detectives, uh, I was very grateful to be able to enjoy the rest of my life. Because, like I say, it's always the innocent guy that gets a stray bullet. Sergeant Myers tells me that right now Koval only faces a first degree, excuse me, first degree burglary charge, but he says more charges are forthcoming. Reporting live in Council Bluffs, Emily Zing, KMTV Action 3 News.